Hi, my name's Pat, and I've um, got the pleasure of flying a stretch pacer or a Bushmaster, as some people call them. It started out its life as a Piper PA-22, which was a nose wheel airplane, and later was converted to a tail wheel PA-2220, and then later stripped down and stretched and uh, eventually wound up being the bird you see behind me. So these are, you know, custom built uh, wing struts because a stock PA-18 strut won't fit and a regular pacer strut won't fit. So there's a lot of little things that you have to do along the way to get everything to work with this four foot extension. So the stock pacer wing comes out and then the splice is out here and it's a four foot splice. So it's about a 37 foot wingspan, about the same as a cup. Moving back here, the splice happens back here on the, on the stretch, I mean, happens back here. And these are actually extended cub tail feathers. This gives us a lot of elevator control the power plant on this airplane is a Lycoming IO360. It's an angle valve 200 horse engine and we extended the motor mount, as I said, five inches to get the CG out just a little bit, which really, really helps when you're loading up. You'll see the cargo area on these things is huge and it really helps when you have, uh, you know, max loads in this airplane, especially when you're working, you know, shorter strips and stuff like that. I love taking family and friends uh, the other day. I took some people on a flight sea up around the glaciers who've lived in the Matsu Valley all their life and never knew that Kinnick Glacier was just right there. The whole time I could hear them in the headsets, wow, wow, just to be able to see where we live. So there's a lot of country like the country we're in right now where you can fly a short distance from home. You could land here and be, you know, by yourself in the wilderness. We have caribou running around behind us right now. In fact, they're right there. Uh, just a couple hundred yards away. It's almost like we planned it, but <laughs> we landed here and they saw us land and got curious and decided to walk a little closer to see what was going on. I'm just so thankful to be able to have uh, the means to land off airport, pick a ridge top, pick a, ri a river bottom or a, gra a grassy field like this up at, what are we at, 4,000 feet I think we are right now, and just enjoy Alaska, so it's tons of fun.